Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about lines and we're going to be using some different kinds of lines. We're going to be using some curved lines, that's just where your line bends a little bit, straight lines, scalloped lines is like under curve, under curve, under, you keep repeating an under curve to create a scalloped line. We're going to do some diagonal lines and diagonals can go either way, right? It could be a diagonal up or a diagonal down. And then we're going to be doing some wavy lines. And wavy lines are really just curved lines that just keep changing direction, okay? So, which of these lines do we need today? Well, um, first I want you to put your name and class code on your paper. First name, last name, and class code if you know it. If you know it and you're either in, and I'm going to use a Sharpie just so you guys can see better, but you can certainly use a pencil to do this. Now, the first line I'm going to do, I want to make it look like the body of the fish is waving a little bit, like he's swimming through the water. So I'm going to do an over curve, under curve, over curve, okay? So I'm kind of doing the wavy line here. I'm going to start over, under, and then over, but I only want those three. I don't want it to be any wavier than that, okay? And then I'm going to do, I'm going to come around and this is the front of his head, so I want it to be a little bit pointy here. I'm going to make it a little bit pointy. And then I'm going to kind of I follow. I'm going to come over here and follow this curve. So I'm going to come around and do like that. So it looks like his body's just waving a little bit there. I could have dipped this in a little bit too, I think. I could have gone under curve, over curve, under curve again. Would have looked okay. All right, now we need to separate where his head and his fins are and his... Um, yeah, his scales are going to be, and fins. So we're going to do a line that goes across like this, and we're going to make him have great big eyes right here. So I'm going to do a curved line here, and a curved line here, and then I'm going to put a really big circle in there, and a really big circle in there. And then I'm going to put a little small circle. That's the part I'm going to leave white. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to color in all the way around that little circle. I'm going to do the same thing over here. A little circle and then color around it. That will make it look like the light is sparkling on his eyes, which it would be. It's more three realistic looking when you do that. Okay, and then I'm also going to do um, some lips here. I'm just going to do kind of a wavy line attached to that. That's where his mouth would be. Then for his fins that are coming out, we're going to go curve line, curve line like that. Actually kind of a diagonal, isn't it? And then a wavy line to attach it. Curve, curve, wavy line. And then I'm going to put some diagonal lines coming up in here to make it look like it has um, a few, I don't know, a few lines. Then I'm going to follow the curve of his back. I'm just going to do a line that goes like this. And I'm going to do a slight wavy line above it. That's his fin that's on top of his body because we're looking down at him in the water. Then for his tail, I'm going to start right about here and come down. And come down and then I'm going to do a wavy line across to connect it. If you want, you can put some diagonal lines coming down from that. Okay. And then our, our last one we're going to do is the scallop for his um, scales on his back. So I'm going to start here along this straight line and I'm just going to scallop here. And I want you to do big scallops. Do not do small ones because you will never be able to get yours done. It'll take too long. So I only have four scallops there. That's that's a pretty good number. Four or five, probably not more than that. And then on your second row of scallops, you're going to start in the middle of this one and connect it to the middle of this one. Just like that. And then you're going to do that here except I'm going to jump over his I don't want to draw a line through my fin, okay? So from the middle to the middle. And then when you get to the edge here, you're just going to do like half a one there and half a one there, okay? Now we're going to do it again, only this time I'm going to start over here. I'm going to start over here and connect to the middle and then to the middle and then I'm going to jump over that middle fin and do another one from middle to middle and middle to middle, okay? You're going to continue doing that down his back starting at the middle of the scallop and connecting to the middle of another scallop in front of it. And then this, this other one here is just going to be a half one. I'm 
ready for my oil pastels. Now, as we saw when we looked at them, koi fish are typically warm colors, right? Um, and our water is going to be cool colors. So I'm going to be doing some wavy lines out here in the water with white and light blue. Those will resist and we'll be able to see them when we paint over it. You could if you could even probably use the dark blue if you wanted to have all three colors in there. And then when you paint the blue over it, some of this you'll be able to see and some you won't. Some will just look like a um, ripple in the water. Okay. And then for your koi fish, you can choose whatever you want, but they are kind of bright orangey yellow um, color so I'm probably going to pick oranges and yellows and things like that even this peach would be kind of cool I think I saw some of that in some of them um, so you can do whatever you want but you're going to use that to add some designs to this so I'm just going to do I'm going to follow the pattern of my uh, scales and just do another another curved line in there you could do um, lines that are going a different direction if you wanted to but go ahead and fill in a few different line designs inside your koi fish. I want to have a few happy surprises, so I'm definitely going to put a few white ones in here. White, you can't see it when we're doing it, but when we paint over it, you'll be able to see that white line and it'll look like movement, okay? All right, now I'm ready to use my watercolors.